let's move on now. We've got um, Gemma on the line we can speak to. Hello, Gemma. Hiya. Good morning to you. Thank you for calling in today. And you're calling on behalf of your daughter, aren't you? She's got a scar. Yeah, she um, had chicken pox when she was two. And the main chicken pox was on her forehead right here. Right. The scab fell off. Well, it was wiped off with a towel. And I know you're not supposed to pick them or anything like that, but it was wiped off. And it's left her with such a big scar, ah. like a big scar. Mm. And she's so upset about it. She won't talk about it. She says it makes her feel sick. Oh, and bless her. Horrible. Is it, it really is it a deep in scar? Is it like a hot, does it go in or is it just on the surface? No, oh, it goes in. Right, it's okay. And it goes deep, so yeah. it's just like... Okay, she let's... Won't go doctor or anything <laughs> well you've got two doctors here now well, Let's yeah. speak to them, sorry. <laughs> i'm sorry your, your daughter's so upset about it um generally most scars will settle with time we'd usually say kind of within the first two years that's where the most amount of healing will happen and after that it is more difficult but lots of massaging it with e45 cream um, and you can even get this um gel called silicone gel or silicone sheet and you can pop it on the scar and she just needs to wear it for 12 hours um every day for three months and that tends to help a little bit with the scarring as well you could right. try those okay okay lovely I think it's something else that might be helpful as well is I think the way that you interact with her and the way that you talk about the scar I mean she's gonna grow up with this scar as she grows and the skin stretches it you'll probably notice it much less but actually trying to maybe even give the scar a name but speak about it positively or ignore it completely and hopefully she grows up if she's not then bothered by it it doesn't uh -huh. matter I've got uh, I've got a, a dodgy eyebrow because I well, my chicken pox uh, and I had one one in, one in there never not never quite the same as the other one and uh, and, so, and and my daughter had them incredibly badly our youngest really? daughter the worst I've seen on anybody mm -hmm. but the scars that she had did fade did over they? time eventually you know bit by bit by bit it, yeah. they did disappear okay. yeah okay thank, thank you, you very Gemma. much.